Hi guys, my name is Ashley Riley and welcome back to my channel. This video is a continuation of my everyday intellect project for my English class and I'm really excited to share it with you guys today. Um, for this project, I have been studying the Creighton's FCA or their Fellowship of Christian Athletes here on campus and I have been attending multiple meetings and observing and analyzing these meetings to find out more about the community and overall culture of the group. So in this video, I will talk about what the FCA is, uh, where they meet, the language of the community, how the community displays their intellect, and how it fits into the Jesuit mission of this university. So let's get started. The FCA, or the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, is an international organization that helps athletes gather and unite to grow in their faith as Christians and make a difference in their community. According to the official FCA website, the FCA's vision is to see the world transformed by Jesus Christ through the influence of coaches and athletes. The members during their meetings are engaged, equipped, and empowered to go out and have an impact on their teams and communities. The FCA here on campus is sponsored by Creighton's athletic department and made available to all of their athletes. During their meetings, connections are drawn between the sports and the Christian faith, and the athletes are taught how to bring that faith and exude it into their sports and make a difference on their teams and communities through their growth as Christians. Creighton's FCA meets in the Ruth Scott Training Center here on campus every Wednesday evening from 7.30 to 8.30. The meetings start with everyone gathering in the entrance and placing their bags there before moving on to the basketball and volleyball courts for some fun games and activities and then transitioning into a different area of the court for the devotions and worship time. The area outlined in blue details the region of the roof where the FCA members initially meet up and gather and drop their bags before beginning the rest of the meeting. This area serves as a great place for the members to meet up and discuss what has been happening in their week since the last meeting. The area outlined in pink details the region of the roof that the members begin their meeting through fun and relaxing activities. Since the Ruth is the practice area for the women's volleyball and basketball teams here at Creighton, there are an equipment and the courts are ready for those activities to be played. Therefore, the beginning of the meeting activity tends to either be basketball or volleyball, but recently a game of capture the flag was also included. The area outlined in red details the region of the roof where the members transition into the more serious devotional time of the evening. The FCA has recently been focusing on a 10 week study on doing sports God's way put it out by the Nebraska Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And this devotional section has started by everyone gathering in a circle and watching a video of Wes Neal teaching how to view winning, goals, and motivation, and other aspects of sports as a Christian athlete. The area outlined in green details the region of the roof where the members break into two small groups after the main devotion time has ended, and it serves to personalize the meeting a little farther. These small group devotions help the members more closely analyze the topics and bring their personal experience into them, which also serves to help transition it back into the large group time with more uh, discussion and open experiences. The mats along the baseline of the basketball court provide a great place for the members to sit during these discussions. Since this is a community composed entirely of athletes, some of the language used in the meetings may be a little bit difficult for people to understand who are not familiar with sports. This language may include like 
strikeouts, touchdowns, and other scorings of events that people might not be familiar with. There are also a few key terms associated with the FCA that also impact the group and its meetings. According to the FCA, the gatherings are not actually called meetings, they're called huddles, and the leader of these meetings is called the huddle leader. This again draws connections through sports, through the team huddles that happen in many of these activities. The vision of the organization also dictates how the members conduct themselves both in the meetings and in the greater campus community. The FCA vision states that the coaches and the athletes should act as Christians and spread the word and influence the world through their lives as Christian athletes in Jesus' name. And in the meetings, they are taught how to do so. The overall atmosphere of the meetings also makes up a large part of the group's language. In the first half of the meetings, while the fun activities are going on, the group tends to have a much more relaxed and light atmosphere. And this gives the group a chance to unwind from all the stress of school and practices and anything else that may go be going on in their lives. The second half of the meetings or the devotional section tends to have a much heavier atmosphere and the athletes are thinking personally about their experiences and deeply in their faith. Um, during this section, the dialogue tends to take on a much more personal note and some of the members share experiences that have happened to them that they may not be cap or feel comfortable sharing in other places. Every meeting of Creighton's FCA ends in prayer. And before the prayer begins, the opportunity for a prayer request is available to be made. And the members have the opportunity to request everything from a prayer of thanksgiving about the weather to a prayer of hope and comfort for a sick relative. These prayer requests are then gathered and written down and sent out to the group through a group messaging application called GroupMe, so they have the opportunity to pray on these requests throughout the week. The members then join hands um, for the prayer to form a feeling of unity and solidarity, and each prayer ends with an amen and a special group handshake. This community displays their intellect in a variety of ways. According to Inventing the University by David Bartholomew, a person displays their intellect by knowing themselves and their abilities and using them to their fullest potential, instead of how technically accurate their work may be. The members of Creighton's FCA continually open themselves up to growth as students, as athletes, and overall Christians. They are also seeking clarity in what it truly means to be a Christian athlete, and through the FCA meetings, they are given the opportunity to become more in tune with themselves and their faith. In On Intellectuals, Antonio Gramsci states that when classifying an intellectual, one does not focus on how sophisticated or academically rigorous the task completed was. Instead, they focus on how it was accomplished. Um, each of these athletes that are a member of Creighton's FCA are skilled in their individual sports and therefore they display some of the characteristics of an intellectual through these skills. They strive to obtain the knowledge on how to use these skills to benefit their team and their community in a positive manner. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes here at Creighton fits in with the Jesuit mission. According to the College of Arts and Sciences mission statement, this organization falls in line with the Jesuit core value of Magis by striving for excellence for the greater glory of God. Each of these athletes are striving for excellence in both their sport and life and are turning to the FCA for guidance on how to do so in a godly manner. 
The College of Arts and Sciences mission statement also depicts the Jesuit value of men and women for and with others, and how it encourages the growth of leaders of competence, conscious, and compassionate commitment. In the FCA meetings, the members are taught how to be strong leaders in their community and how to make a positive impact on the world around them. I just want to thank the members of Creighton's FCA for letting me observe, analyze, and take pictures of their meetings. Through this project, I have been able to see how the location, language, and people um, impact a community and its purpose. Well, thank you for watching this video and letting me share my project with you. I hope you now have a greater understanding of Creighton's FCA and can see how intellect can be seen in a variety of different communities.